Well, the practice that has really helped me that's coming through is placing, if it feels in front of people, um, to place one hand behind the head. Like, I'm sure you can see it just fine, just like right here. Mm -hmm. Or that same hand can go on the heart. And then placing the other hand at the bottom of the spine, either in the front near the pelvis or at the bottom of the, the tailbone here. And just like, I'm just going to do it like a quick, a quick version of it, just because it would be weird if I explained it without doing it in my, I think it would, I think, yeah, I'm used to teaching this in a yoga class. So just taking a moment to notice what it feels like on your hands, meeting this part of your body. We don't even have to know the names of the parts of the body. But this is where the nervous system is. And this is where the center of your body is that is water. And the center of our body is actually fluid. So just tuning into the body and then connecting with the breath. And bringing the breath into the bottom of the stomach. Allowing that space to be created at the bottom of the tailbone, the bottom of the spine. And then slowly with whatever time that you have, just bringing that same breath to the upper stomach and under the rib cage. And then illuminating the entire rib cage up to the neck and then up to the top of the spine. And just listening. Just listening and giving the body permission to let go of whatever it wants to let go of without us needing to judge what it is or analyze what it is. It doesn't need to be trauma. It doesn't need to be anything. And just allowing the body to do what it already knows how to do. It knows how to come home. It's called homeostasis. <laughs> it's literally in the word. And then just allowing yourself to like feel the sensations and not being like, oh yeah, that's this system. That's that system. You know, like let the body express itself. There's like so much expression that's just like this in the body. Cause we stopped learning how to, we stopped listening. And I don't think that's shame on us. It's not like that. It's just, oh yeah, I just realized, you know, it's kind of like with parenthood, like I'm not a parent, but I would assume that if you were to tell a kid, Hey, why did you get a D on this report? And the kid was like, you never helped me study. Then I think that would be the end of that conversation. You know, you'd be like, oh, cool body. Why are you doing this to me? When's the last time you listened? You know? Yeah. So I think that that is a helpful practice for anybody that feels like they want to explore that. Yeah, I agree. I think that's an amazing practice. I actually felt the calming just tapping in with you. I didn't do the practice. I didn't know that we were going to go through the whole thing, but I'm hoping we'll clip that and share that because I do feel that that practice is restorative and supportive for people. Because like I said, just even going into it with you, just listening, my, my entire system started to relax, which was really nice because there's been a lot of tension in this call because there's a wasp in the background, just <laughs> moving around constantly. Every time I get into that space where I'm like, okay, cool. I'm back <laughs> focus. It starts to move around. And I'm like, cool. Acceptance practice. Got and it. Your, your body mind's like, but wasp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, definitely a, another level of uh, experience today, to say the well, least. For the record, that was the short version. <laughs> like, yeah, that was like the fastest I could have possibly done that. Um, so for anybody that feels like exploring that, sometimes what I like to do, because there's 33 vertebra, questionable, but 33 that are that are known. And <laughs> just even closing your eyes and counting to 33, you don't even have to use any imagery, just like the intention of breathing into those spaces. And that's all, not doing anything forceful, 
till you get to the top and then just taking one big encompassing breath for all 33 and then just releasing it. I would be very surprised if someone was more dysregulated after that practice than before. And you could totally make it your own. The whole point is just like to listen to those spaces and that's all. Absolutely. And that's the most powerful thing you're ever going to learn to do. Learn to listen. Listen with your world, listen to your body, listen to your heart, listen to who you are, listen to who you've been, all of those processes. It's all about listening. Yeah. So if you want to unfreeze, if you want to melt away the misunderstandings, all you have to do is listen to the truth. 